And we're now back for part three. Now what we're going to do is to pour the plates. So we already uh, sanitized this area here. What we need now is a Bunsen burner. A Bunsen burner just creates an updraft by burning uh, propane. So what we do is turn it on. So now the air around here just goes up like this, so nothing will fall into the area that we work in. First you can see the, the one plate that I put the tape on, you can see that it's now become black, indicating that it was sterilized. So we'll take all of them out. Bottom one got some water in it. Let's pour that one out. There we go. All right. So what we're gonna do now is work as close to the flame as possible. The um, the uh, agar mix has cooled down. It should be cooled down to where you can touch it to your cheek without burning yourself. Once it goes below 30, I believe it's 37 degrees, it turns, um, it turns solid and above 42 it liquefies. So, alright. We have our plates. We'll start with one plate. We'll get it nice and close to the flame. Same with the bottle. I'm going to pour about uh, 15 to 20 milliliters in each plate. Again, keeping it close to the plate. Especially just covering the bottom of uh, plates. If you pour it, pour it when it's much hotter than this, you will have excessive amount of condensation inside of your plates. I'm going to leave this out here until they solidify. Once they have solidified, we'll uh, put a rubber band on them. We'll stack them up like this. Put a rubber band up on them and uh, put them upside down in a warm area. That's about 40 degrees. And uh, leave it there for a couple of days to have all the condensation uh, go off. And then we'll tape it up with either an electrical tape or um, uh, this another, I think it's called chem tape, that you can uh, stretch around it. Okay, that's it. We'll be back for more.